Facebook, I'm, I'm swearing. Like I'm talking like how I would talk. So like, just, I think just be real and just, just talk to people like this. What, what did I say? No, no. <laughs> I just realized I didn't fucking hit record though right now. Oh. <laughs> let's, all right, let's do this all over again. It uh, was seriously like the best call ever. What the? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, but you know, like, I think it, I think it depends. I think like if you post stuff about what your niche is, like, you know, if, if he's a gardener, if he likes to do DIY crafts or, you know, whatever it is, like just post about that stuff so you can track those type of people, you know, I don't know if he's into gardening, but shit, tell me not, like show me how to kill my garden. I would watch, I would check that out, you know, or how to not, if he likes to cook, like how to not burn toast. Shit, I would love to learn how to, how to cook, you know? Just, just speak to your market and, and don't give a shit who, like, if someone's offended, good. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who aren't offended. You're just kind of, like, saying, all right, I'm talking to you. I'm give a shit about all, the, all these other people. I read this quote the other day. It said, the world does not benefit from you hiding your badassery. And that's one thing I think is so many people get that one hater, which to me means you're doing shit right. Because some yeah. sister-in-law said the other day, I think you have more haters than anybody I know, Mindy. I'm like, I know, damn right. That means I'm doing something right. But then I thought so many people who just stopped because that one person just didn't like them. And they don't realize how many other people who get them, they're missing when they do that. Um, somebody else asked, um, how, do you, how did you keep going when you first started? How do you make Success Club non-negotiable? How did I get, how did I, so how did I get going when I first started? Yeah. Um, I did the three vital behaviors. Like I read my pers my PD, I, I connected and invited people to my group. And most importantly is I showed up on social media. There were days that I didn't think showing up, I still showed up. You got it. You got it. People are watching you. They want you to fail. They want to be haters and be bastards and stuff like that. You got to prove them wrong, man. You got to show them where you're going and they can decide to go with it or not. Um, what was the second part of that? Uh, and how do you make su success club a non-negotiable? Uh, I, I I don't know. Like my my coach, my our my our our like grandma coach, I guess you can say, a coach above a coach above a coach. I asked her, "Hey, what do I got to do to be successful?" And she said, "Trey, you got to hit success goal five. I said, "Okay, that's what I got to do." And you know what? There was there was probably one month where I had to buy a challenger, but I did. You know, I sac you sac you don't just sacrifice. You sacrifice more stuff. So hey. If I got to do what I ever got to do to hit success with five, I'll do whatever I have to do. And there's been times where it's come down to the last hour, but you, you do it because of your goal, of what your dream, of your future, where you want to be. You just do it. You have to want it more than breathing. And that's what I told a coach the other day that I know that I know that this has given me life and it saved me over and over and over and over and over again. And it's what's pulled me back into, you know, positive living. And so I want to give that back to somebody. And the biggest thing is if you, cause I teach the three vital behaviors, like I told, but like I said in Atlanta the other day, the three vital behaviors are like uh, eating, drinking and breathing. They're all completely important. I can't say which one is more important than the other, and that's why invite, 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 being first, and proof of product works being two, and personal development being three. It's, it's, it's not in the area of importance. It's just you have to listen some way chronologically. And the thing is, you like I told everyone in Atlanta, you could not breathe for a while, be all right, not eat for a while, be all right, not drink for a while, be all right. But if you want to live fully at your fullest and feel your best, then you gotta do all of them all the time. And you know what? It becomes natural. When you, it, it's not negotiable. If you do the three vital behaviors every day, every freaking day, eventually you're gonna hit success up and eventually you're gonna end up not running out of people if you keep doing that. Every day you connect, 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 connect with people. And then you start inviting, 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 inviting with people. Then, you know, once you start inviting, 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 and you're being proof of it works. You have something to talk about when you're inviting people. When you're doing personal development, when somebody says no, you're just like fuck you. Next, I'll see yeah. you in the next two years. Bye. Okay. You know, and you can have a great hundred pound weight loss transformation, but if you're not doing personal development, you're still going to be that four hundred pound fat person in your head. So personal development is great. Like for me, I still feel unworthy. I still feel struggle with all sorts of stuff. So even though I can post a million selfies all day where it looks like I have my shit together, there's days that I don't have my shit together. So those are the days I do personal development. And if I do personal development every day, then I have less of those days.
Like I told everyone in Atlanta, and I'm going to leave you guys with the same thought. I challenge you to do it for 30 days straight. 30 days straight. I've challenged a lot of people with that. Most of you will say no because you are already predetermined that you're not going to be able to do it, and you're going to sabotage any success that you have. But the people who say, by God, I'm going to show you that I just have a tight market, and it's all exhausted, and I'm not. You know what all of them do? They advance in rank. They feel better about themselves. They come back and thank me. I mean, they didn't really thank me. It's like the corporate taught us this. I mean, I didn't come up with three bad behaviors, but they thank me. Do it. <coughs> 30 days. 10 minutes of personal development. And don't tell me you came to personal development because I have every comeback for a wise person can tell me not. So people tell me excuses all the time. <laughs> so, anyways, I leave you with that trait. Thank you. I am so pissed off. I'm going to go outside and punch myself in the face that I did not record the whole thing because, dude, the, that was, like, awesome. So, I guess my message to all the other coaches that didn't make it on on time or didn't make it on at all, sorry, guys, you snooze, you lose. It was not on purpose, but you missed the best call I have ever had. <laughs> So anyway, follow Trey and that effing guy on his fan page. Check out his videos. He has just got all sorts of personality. Thanks for having me, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.